Now let us see about the properties of alpha rays. An alpha particle is a helium nucleus consisting of two protons and two neutrons. It carries two units of positive charge. They move along straight lines with high velocity. They are deflected by electric and magnetic field. You could see the reaction right side where daughter nucleus is there, parent nucleus is there. From the parent nucleus, the daughter nucleus is derived. When the process is occurring, some alpha particle is getting emitted. Similarly, you can see the picture over here. This compound is containing uranium and thorium in a PB container. It means a lead container. Inside the lead container, uranium and thorium is there. A magnet is placed in between and a screen coated with zinc sulfate has been placed here. When a ray is passed inside this lead container, alpha, gamma and beta rays get generated. So the charge alpha, beta and gamma has been shown. So the alpha has plus ions and beta will be having minus with plus ions and the gamma is represented as a sinusoidal graph that combines of these two in this picture you can see the fission reaction where the at nucleus get uh, splitted into nuclei So the reaction has been given as X is given by Y plus helium. That is X is the nucleus here and Y is the nuclei. While getting emitted it's emitting helium gas. Similarly Scandium and barium. From scandium, barium get generated. While the process is taking place, a beta ray will get emitted. This is so called beta decay.